Welcome back, everybody, to episode number two of House Flipper. Today, we've got some very fun things planned. Uh, let's get into it. Uh, we're going to flip a house. Uh, in the last episode, we didn't get a chance to. We spent all the time on our starter house and working on one of the emails, the bunker, if I'm not mistaken, uh, which both turned out beautiful. Uh, tons of positive feedback on that. I uh, really hope uh, everyone really appreciated uh, the video and uh, yeah. So I did a few things um, that I didn't show last time. Uh, so I'm just going to do a quick walk through here. Uh, we've got the sled with the lights and everything. We've got our pond with a little pool. Uh, we put some Christmas decorations up on the house. A uh, little poinsettia there. A couple snowmen. Uh, moved this around a little bit. Uh, opened this up here because there's really no way to get back here. So we just put the one swing here instead of two. Um, we've got all these little things back here. Uh, that hasn't changed. And we go back on the inside and I don't think I did anything else in here. Uh, maybe threw those guys down on the table. Maybe the snow globe, I don't know. But that's where we are. So. For today, uh, we're going to purchase a new house. Um, let's just start at the beginning and work our way up. So we're going to start with the camping bungalow. We're going to buy this and we're going to go there. So it looks like it's a very, very small house. Uh, looks very dirty. We're going to have uh, our work cut out for us. Uh, yep, yeah, that's great. So, walk in the house. Uh, everything is pretty much run down. We've got a little bedroom-ish with a little study. Uh, what's this, kitchen? Yeah, we've got a kitchen back here. Um, I assume a bathroom? Yes. That's a very big bathroom for a small house. Hmm. And then outside, we've got some trees. We can cut them down if we want. Uh, the house needs to have a good washing. Uh, need to mow the lawn. Yeah, there won't be too much to this one here. So with that said, let's get into it. Welcome back. Uh, we've done the interior now. Uh, basically gutted everything that I could find. And uh, take this out too. And um, I think we're going to have to do some construction in here because this bathroom I think might even actually be bigger than the kitchen if not the same size. Um, so that doesn't really work for me. So I'm going to play around with this a bit and uh, be right back. All right. Progress review. Uh, the wall was initially coming out all the way basically down this line and we've moved it back uh, one over here and three over here and we moved the door over here instead of from over here here's the bathroom uh, with a faded lemon for the walls and then white porcelain for the floor and just a very uh, cozy um, bathroom. Now I need to do some more things in here. I need to put in blinds, uh, get a little rug for here. So we'll come back uh, once we've done all that. Be right back. All right. Uh, another progress update. Painted the walls. Um, what color did we use? Sunny yellow. I'm not 100% sold on it, but maybe with some light it might look better. Oh, I forgot to do this window here. Um... Made a few changes to the bathroom. Put the sink over here, toilet over here, put this up on the wall, little clock, a uh, couple plants here in the window. This took me a lot longer than I had thought it would. <laughs> uh, made a little room here. We're going to be putting a bedroom in this room here. Uh, put a little kitchen here, put uh, green back here just to kind of spruce it up a little bit. Not 100% salt on this yellow color again, but we'll have to see what happens, what it looks like when, uh, when I put some lights in there. 
Overall, this house has been a lot harder to do than I thought it would. Um, trying to be a perfectionist uh, with it. Perfectionist story. Um, but it's giving me difficulties, so I'm just kind of playing around with some colors here and uh, I'm going to make some more changes and we'll get right back to you. Alright. Did a few more things here. Um, this is the living room. Not a ton of space here, so I just kind of put two chairs side by side. I'm kind of thinking uh, it's going to be for some older people. they got a little plant in the corner, a uh, book uh, shelf, filled with a bunch of different books. Uh, the kitchen, we didn't do too much since the last update. Uh, we put a cooking um, kitchen cookbook over here. And that's probably about it. We put uh, some more lights in as well, just to kind of really help light up the room. And we put in a white carpet. Uh, that was about all I could come up with. So uh, I also bought this bookshelf or bookcase. I really hope I can fit it in here somehow. I just got to be able to get a bed in here big enough for two people. Uh, that's going to be a challenge. Uh, so I'm going to work on that and then we'll get uh, right back to you. All right, this should be the final update. Um, yeah. Again, I'm kind of considering this this person's house or this person that owns the house to be older. Um, I don't know. I just want to think of like, you know, my grandparents' house and stuff. Like, you see a lot of dark wall boards and, and cheap looking carpet and. Um, I mean, this is back when I was a kid, right? So they've moved and they're in much nicer stuff now. But, like, when I think of, like, the house that they were in when I was a child, you know, it was a lot like this. Big wooden uh, things and they had stuff on the wall. And, I don't know, it just kind of brings me back a little bit. Um, this house is very hard to do. Uh, it's very, very hard in this small, small area. Uh, but I wanted to get a living room kind of a kitchen, a bedroom, and a bathroom. I wanted those four in, so I had to kind of make it work. So it was a lot of effort to uh, do this, but in the end, I think it was worth it. Uh, just went with any bed that kind of fit here. Uh, black and white picture of New York, because again, they're old. And then this could be like grandkids or their own kids, like when they were younger or whatever, but I figured that these lights would go perfect with older people. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's what we got. I don't think I'm going to do anything to the outside of the house because this actually took me a very, very long time to do. So we'll kind of leave it at that. All right, just going to do one quick walk through to make sure there's nothing I missed. A little bookshelf painting and the bathroom got a little rug there uh, I put a couple clocks in here because older people always like their clocks all right uh, let's see what we can do when we sell it up here we'll submit for the garden contest even though we didn't do anything Not terrible. 10% extra for mowing the lawn, basically. Cool. Uh, so now we can put it up on auction. So we sold, or we bought it for about 44000 Put about uh, 5200 into it, and then we sold a bunch of stuff. So that kind of walks itself out, so... We sold it for sixty thousand. We bought it for forty-four. Not, uh, not terrible. We made six thousand dollars for mowing the lawn. Um, I'd like to see if I can get another. Just a little bit more. Okay, so that worked out. Um, perfect. Thank you very much, Veronica. The Jantart family. Um, there's no living room. It's right there. 
Uh, these guys were in the lead uh, for buying the house up until I put like two more paintings down. And I said, okay, Veronica wants it, she can have it. So there you go. That's a nice shot. That's all right. Yeah, there's nothing that happened there. Or there. <laughs> But again, with such a small house, there's not really that much you can do. All right. Uh, initially, I had planned on ending the episode after we did that one house. Unfortunately, uh, during editing, I found out that it was about 10 minutes for that one house uh, for two and a half hours of work in game. So uh, I just thought it wouldn't be right to put a video out that was that short. So uh, we're going to do one of the mail. Um, let's do laser tag in a bunker, or, yeah, let's do laser tag in a bunker. Hi, my buddies and I wanted to open up laser tag center in an old fort. The only problem is that when we uncovered inside, please get rid of all of it. Aside from a couple things that we could use to equip the arena, the military crates and barrels should be perfect for that. It's a lot of work, but hopefully you'll find something inside to make it worth your while. Just take care not to burn yourself. Now, I know what the special surprise is. Um, it's really, really cool. But I'm not going to say it. We're going to get it here in probably like 10 seconds anyway, so it's kind of a little bit of a teaser for you. But it's a very, very useful thing. We've unlocked the flamethrower. Very cool. So this thing... rid of trash very very quickly there we go I'm not gonna waste it all um, considering you have to buy the canisters and it's a bit of a pain and bleh. so we're just gonna get started on this here uh, we're gonna do this together for the most part uh, just to kind of fill up the gap uh, if I do find out that one of the rooms just isn't really fitting with what we're doing, um, then I'll probably cut that down just to make it a little bit uh, better. I don't want to make any boring content for everybody. Okay. And that's done. Now the inside of this place isn't exactly uh, the nicest either. There we go. Still more trash and stuff, but not a big deal. We can always come back later and find it. So, walk inside, and this is what we have here. Here we go, get rid of all of this garbage. So you've got a basically little front little room here. Uh, fuse box needs to be assembled, so we'll quickly do that. Done. Uh, there's still some more trash in here somewhere. Oh, behind the door. Let's close the door so we actually can keep on top of that. Uh, still some more dirt. Well, it's not that up there. You actually kind of clean through the walls. <laughs> kind of cool. All right, uh, let's go in this direction here. Uh, this is the first room that's really going to have anything to do. A little gas mask there, that's kind of cool. And there we go. And that should be most of the trash. There we go. So we're going to sell, 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 sell. Can't sell anything else there. And let's do a bit of cleaning. So we just scrub on the walls here. 
get all the nasty stuff off. There we go. Kind of using my mini map in the top corner. Alright, so now we get to do a bit of purchasing. So they want to get two of these tables. Um, will it fit right beside the door? It won't. Oh well. Uh, let's put one over here. And we'll put another one right here. And now we need ten armchairs. Red's a pretty nice color. So we'll just do two on the ends. Or two on the sides. And then two on each end. So we are going to have to move this a little bit. Five more of these guys here. Actually, let's change the color on this one. So one team is the red team. The other team is blue team. It's not blue. I do apologize. I am colorblind. For anybody that knows me. <laughs> Something I'm used to by now. It doesn't bother me at all. There we go. Now we need to get two couches. One there. I thought this was against the wall. Clearly I was mistaken. There we go. And now wooden desk. Uh, that's a nice color, I think. Right there. Oh, we need two. Again, we can do one for each team. So this team will use this one, and this team will use this one. Wall mount TV. One for each team. There we go. And apparently, we need some paintball rifles. Yes, that's right, paintball. And now we need some bunker lamps. So one there, one there, one there, and one here. All right. Not bad, not bad. Now we get to do some more cleanup in this room here. Shovel time. And I don't think we can sell a lot of this stuff. I think they want it all kept so that they can have like little obstacles and stuff that they can duck behind and whatever it is that you do with your laser tag party. There we go. This room is now done. any more trash so now it's just the dirt we got to take care of and this room is done so a lot of this is just cleaning up trash um, I don't mind it since I have my cleaning perk maxed out but when you first get it, like you can only do one thing at a time, it is a very, very slow process. Um, yeah, it's, it's not too bad or anything. It's just, it takes a while to do things. But I mean, that's like that in any game, right? When you level up, you get better skills and you're more proficient at them and you're quicker and all that stuff. Here we go. Need a little bit more here. Now we get to throw the rest of this stuff out. I want to move this over here. And this room is done. And that's it for that. More dirt. I didn't remember there being so much dirt in this when I did it on my uh, other playthrough. But not a problem at all. 
this room is now done. And it looks like we actually get to sell some stuff in this room, so that's good. Probably means we'll get to buy some stuff too. There we go. Get rid of all that. Alright, now we'll do some more cleaning. There's that one piece of dirt. Couldn't find it. <laughs> there we go. Looks like there's something on the ground here. There we go. And a little bit more. All right. Looks like my niece is coming down, so I'm going to take a quick break, and uh, we'll be right back. All right, we are back. Um, looks like we finished cleaning and everything in this room. So now we just need to buy a bunch of stuff. So wooden dining table. Uh, put one there. And there. Now. Put them side by side. And then we want kitchen cabinet. White's probably a good color. Uh, put that right over here. Perfect. And dark colored armchair. So we need eight of these. Do the same sort of thing we did in the other one. We've got uh, team sitting. So we'll change the colors up. There we go. Meant to buy multiple of that. <clears throat> a little bit of a tight fit, but not the end of the world. So now we need a couch. Uh, I guess it'll work there. Um, put some TVs. That doesn't really make sense. One there. And one there. And as per usual, turn it on. <laughs> now we need some of these lights. There we go. And last but not least, very important, we need that. And because we're so nice, we're even going to give them a few of these here. These are busy people. go and that room is done now the only thing we have left is this courtyard area here if we really wanted to we could even go up here and mow the lawn and stuff but that's not required so I'm not worrying about it there we go uh, there's still some trash somewhere. Oops. There we go. Guess we're gonna have to do this. The most effective way to mow your lawn. Definitely not the safest. <laughs> there we go. Apparently there's still some trash somewhere. I don't see it. I mean, we've got everything. Just kind of go over this real quick. No. Try doing this real quick, didn't change. Oh well, not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. 
And I think that's pretty much it. Let's see what we have for tasks. Still a little bit of dirt and trash. And there's one room we missed. So we'll go back in here. Find the room we missed. I guess we did that already. Uh, oh, definitely. Definitely. Woo! Look at this pigsty. Alright. Sell that. Now we need a compact toilet. Right against the wall. There we go. And a sink. Recently just got an upgrade to the mounting speed, so everything is quite a bit quicker. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. There we go, and clean up our mess. There we go. Some dirt or something here. I can't... Uh... I don't see anything, but that's the best we can do. All right. Um, yeah, so we're done as much as we can, so let's complete the job. Made 30, 36,000, pretty good. Turn that into a nice little cozy space. Not the best picture there. Not a great picture there. Or there. <laughs> I guess there's not too much that they could have really taken pictures of. But all in all, I think we did pretty good. That's much nicer. All right. So, uh, there you have it. Pretty sure this is going to be the end of this episode now. Uh, so I'll do the outro again. Uh, thank you everybody for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please hit that like button and uh, consider giving us a subscribe. And we'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.